Hey everybody, how's it going? I am your host Adrian, coming to you almost live. As you can see, we're no longer in Studio MC3. We're actually out in my garage in Studio One. Uh, I just want to uh, take this uh, a, a few minutes to uh, make a real quick announcement regarding uh, Linux News Log and uh, the Geekinator podcast. Um, looks like I the last episode of Linux News Log that was put out was um, back in uh, February of 2015 and you know a lot of uh, things have happened since then there's a reason why I haven't really put an episode out in a while um, and so I just want to take this as a as a quick opportunity to uh, just kind of explain what's going on and um, you know kind of serve as a, as a show announcement if you will so just to cut to the chase you know, Linux News Log and uh, The Geekinator, both of those shows I've been doing in one form or another for the past 10 years. I started Linux News Log in uh, October of 2004, believe it or not, over 10 years at this point. And, um, you know, while it's been a lot of fun doing those shows, you know, the cold, hard reality of the matter is I'm, I'm kind of, I want to do something else. And, um, you know, I outside of these shows, I know I don't really talk that much about, uh, you know, my own personal life uh, outside of the shows. But, you know, outside of these shows, I'm actually a busy guy. I work, you know, full time, 40 plus hours a week. I have a family. You know, these are kind of a labor of love. But, uh, you know, over the last several years, I've had another labor of love kind of uh, pop up and start to take a you know a fair amount of uh, my uh, energy and resources and that's photography and so um, you know I've, I've spent a fair amount of money uh, you know taking photography classes and and gaining access to some of the better known photographers at least here in the United States and you know it occurred to me that you know, while there's a lot of really good information out there about photography, most of it is centered around gear and buying gear and uh, that sort of thing. And, and very, little of it is, very little of it is actually, you know, really what I would consider greenfield type information, uh, you know, stuff like, you know, how light works and, and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a fair number of, uh, you know, fairly well-known photographers out there that, have sources of information but they either don't really articulate their knowledge base in a in in a manner that would help somebody who's relatively new um, to start to be productive fairly quickly or they don't understand it well enough themselves to even be able to do that you know and and one thing that i've discovered and i'm not going to name names or anything but one thing that i've discovered is a lot of photographers, especially the be better known ones, you know, they're, they're better known because they have a good eye. You know, they're not really that technical. They're, they're known because they know what makes a good picture and they, and they know how to take a good picture, but they don't necessarily know how to articulate that to somebody else and they try and it's all well-meaning and that's fantastic you know more power to them I'll be the first to admit that to a large degree I'm kind of a uh, you know uh, uh, climbing up on the shoulders of giants to to a very large degree a lot of the source material I'm, I'm that I'm drawing from my own knowledge base is, is from a lot of these other online sources but you know I've identified you know a number of gaps where I think that I can, you know, meaningfully contribute to that conversation. And so I've decided, um, you know, that I like photography and talking about photography a lot more than I like talking about technology and Linux, you know. Um, not that there's anything wrong with those. They're both very, you know, uh, interesting topics it's just i work on linux all day at work and you know i'm i live here in the bay area san francisco bay area and in all honesty it's all tech here so you know i'm at the end of the day i'm a little burned out and i don't really want to come home and do a show about that so i'd rather come home and do a show about what really interests me so that's 
kind of where it's going. Uh, Linux Newslog and the Geekinator for the foreseeable future. There won't be any new episodes. Um, if anybody out there wants to take the show over, um, I'd be more than happy to redirect RSS feeds uh, temporarily uh, to get everybody over to the new show, you know, for a period of time or what have you. And, um, you know, but if, if anybody does take any one, either one of those shows over, number one, you're going to have to uh, do it without my help, meaning you need to pay for the hosting, you need to pay for the support, uh, you need to pay for your own website, you need to do all your production, you need to do all that. So um, that's where that's at. So that's kind of where things are. I just wanted to take, like I said, I just wanted to take a moment. I've, I've gotten a fair number of emails going, yo, where have you been for the last, you know, however many months? And it's like, well, kind of burned out on talking about Linux and tech. I want to do something else. So at any rate, in the not too distant future, um, I will have some new content going up that's photography based. I'll probably place it on its own domain. So quicksurf.com, I haven't quite decided yet what I'm going to do with that, but I'm sure at some point I'll, uh, I'll have that figured out. And um, so, you know, there we go. So without further ado, thanks for the great run. It's been utterly fantastic. And I will see all of you on the next show. Thanks for watching and listening. For those of you who have been listeners, I'll see you then.